Hey guys, it's Lucy and today I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day. Now seeing as it's January and I had a pretty fabulous Christmas and New Year, I actually came home about seven pounds heavier than when I left, <laughs> but that's fine. We move, we literally move, because I'm gonna go for a run today, but <laughs> anyway, seeing as it's January and I'm now back home, back to reality, back to normal life, I've decided that I'm gonna focus on shifting those seven pounds and hopefully a few more than that. Just in case you're new, I will give you a little bit of background on me. Hi, my name is Lucy. I've been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. Back then, I weighed 230 pounds. I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds at a time. I looked online to try and find someone who looked like me, who was going, getting out there and doing the hard things. I wanted to see someone else have with the same struggles as me and still getting out there and reaching the goals that I had for myself just so I could know that it was also possible for me. So to cut a long story short, I've lost a lot of weight and I've run a lot of miles. So I've decided to become that YouTuber that I needed to see way back then. So if you think this is the kind of content that you need or if you know someone else who might need it, let them know, hit the subscribe button and become a virtual running buddy. All levels of runners are welcome here. Right. Today is a run day and I haven't actually got my run done. I'm gonna get my run done now, <laughs> but I have had my breakfast. So let's get into that before I head out for my run. Breakfast this morning was a nice, easy, simple bowl of shreddies. I do tend to just go straight for the cereal in the morning. I don't have anything particularly exciting. It was a Monday morning. My daughter's back to school, so I needed something super quick and also I have a daughter that changes her mind every other week as to which cereal she likes and doesn't like and this one tends to be pretty consistent so if we have a cereal that she decides that she doesn't like anymore that's my backup so that's why I tend to have the chocolate shreddies in the cupboard and that is what I'll go to I won't get myself anything particularly special or different because I'll just have what's there <laughs> and I'm usually starving so it does the job perfect yeah nice bowl of shreddies to start the day <laughs> I've been out of the house and running for about 45 minutes and I left about half nine. So I tend to do this when I'm out and I'm thinking about lunch. <laughs> when I get back from my run, I obviously have to have a bath, wash my hair and then I can sort lunch out. But because I'm not a fast runner and I tend to want to do at least a 5K, I'm at four miles <laughs> because it takes me so long to run those miles. When I get back home, I'm like, is that the time? What? Especially if I didn't leave until, you know, half nine or whatever. By the time I've washed my hair and my bath, so it'll be lunchtime or gone lunchtime. I do feel like I'm struggling a lot on this run, so I am filming a run with me as well. I don't know if it's just because I'm hungry or I'm just tired tired from Christmas and New Year. I am half a stone heavier than I was. So I've got to bear that in mind. I'm running with more weight on. <sighs> right, let's get back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm tired and I'm back. <laughs> right, I'm going to get in the bath and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash this mess and then I'm gonna work out what I'm gonna have for lunch. So I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> I also like to keep track of how many calories I've burnt throughout the day as I go on. Obviously, as it's a run day, my calories burnt are gonna be higher, but at this moment in time, I am at 1,722. Now, this is estimated. I don't go off this as pure fact. <laughs> I usually like to take 20% off at the end of the day and think that that's more of a realistic um, calorie total, but yes this is what I tend to look at as well throughout the day 
And just to show the difference that going for a run makes, you can see on here, this is my active calories on um, the last, for the last seven days. And you can see the days that I've ran, it makes a huge, huge difference. And I've not even been running super far, as you can see. So yeah, that's also on there just to kind of show. <laughs> I'm also thankful that I did come back because I've only got 10% battery left on my watch and my charger's in my car. So I'm actually gonna head out and get that and then get this on charge. <laughs> my watch is on charge, but believe me when I tell you, it's half 11. <laughs> so it is nearly lunchtime. I've had my bath, I've washed my hair. I'm feeling so much better. You know what, after those four and a half miles, I, I really do feel good. I feel so much better for it. I may have really struggled today and absolutely hated <laughs> the back end of that run, but I feel really good for it. I feel nice and fresh and very hungry so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna make a quick bowl of soup with some toast that is my go-to so when i'm trying to lose weight my goal is to still eat the food that i love that i enjoy but i'm not gonna go for the calorie dense things i'm gonna go for the things that are lower in calories that i enjoy and that are gonna keep me full and for me personally, my golden ticket is a bowl of soup with some toast to dip in. Um, I used to love a, a type of big soup, but the Tesco's that I shop in now doesn't actually sell it. So I'm sticking with tomato soup and I cannot wait to tuck in. So yeah, let's get this soup on. I'm gonna enjoy this soup this lunch i'm gonna stick some youtube on and uh oh can you see that it's very hot <laughs> i'm going to enjoy this and i will see you later on for dinner time i'm back in the kitchen because i'm making a brew <laughs> having a cup of tea i haven't actually had one today yet because this morning i didn't have time and then i came back and went straight for a run and here i am yeah so first cup of tea of the day i do use skimmed milk for my tea i used to use whole milk back in the day when i was at my heaviest so that was one of the things i cut back on first actually was i swapped to skimmed milk uh, i don't have sugar in my tea i use sweetener <laughs> you don't know what sweetener looks like. That's the one I use. I have had my soup. I gave it my best shot, and um, yeah, it was delicious. But I do need something a little bit sweet. So instead of heading to the sweet cupboard for a biscuit or whatever, um, a nice sweet cup of tea actually does the job for me nine times out of ten. It's time time to make dinner <laughs> my daughter's back from school now and she's already had her post school snack and she's asking for dinner it is quarter to four and i'm actually going to be cooking so i might as well start now this is what we're going to be having pasta bolognese chunky mushroom big meat but not all of this because it's just me and my daughter <laughs> this is where i'll be holding garlic bread but i forgot to buy it i am not a great cook at all my poor poor husband <laughs> he definitely did not marry me for my cooking skills this is about as adventurous as we go simple basic and as long as it's not burnt i'm sure it'll be fine that's my attitude <laughs> i won't give you a tutorial i think that would just be a waste not only of my time but your time i am not a great cook <laughs> And here we have the final result for dinner. I did think this actually feels like quite a large portion and it was. <laughs> I didn't actually manage to finish all of it, but that was my dinner. I didn't burn it. It turned out pretty nice. This is the calories that I'm on at this moment. It's about quarter to nine at night. And this is the total calories for my day. Again, I'm taking this with a pinch of salt, but I know roughly what I have. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon for some more updates. Bye guys!